Welcome back to News 10 at 6. A lot of activity for our Saturday. It started for our afternoon, continuing as we get to right around dinner time right now. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning, one of them through Lawrence County in Illinois, areas like Lawrenceville, Sumner, right in the way of that storm. That is until 530 for you folks in Illinois. And just right to the east of that in Knox County, we have another severe thunderstorm warning, and that expires at 645 Eastern time. So let's take a close look at that. Let's see what's going on with those storms that are just off to the south. Here is that cell right there pushing to the northeast. Sumner lightning, heavier rain, as well as strong wind associated with these storms tracking off to the north and northeast. Just right to the east there for Vincennes. Same factor for you as these strong storms are lifting to the north. Expect that Ambignal off to Emerson there. Up 41, continuing to see those storms developing as we head through the evening hours. Here is another severe thunderstorm warning that just popped up. That is for Paris through Edgar County, pushing into Vermilion County, expecting that over the next half an hour or so. With this, as you can tell, strong lightning with that. Folks, if you're going out for your evening, it's better that you do stay indoors, find some shelter as we see some stronger storms moving through. There might be some areas of dry conditions with some sunshine, but we will have the threat for some strong to severe thunderstorms as we continue through the evening hours. You can see right over Terre Haute, lightning, heavier rainfall pushing off to the northeast, Clinton, Rockville, expecting some more rain showers here over the next half an hour to an hour. We take a wider view with this. It's encompassing the whole central portion of Illinois and into Indiana. We'll put that into motion here. You can see that flow ro rolling up to the north that's associated with that low pressure that's tracking to the east. So we'll continue to see this as we head through the evening hours and any of these storms are going to be strong enough to see wind all the way up to about 40 miles per hour. And if they reach severe limits, all the way up to about 60 miles per hour. Here's the accumulated rainfall over the last 24 hours. The green areas right here is where the heavier rainfall is, half an inch, up to an inch. I've seen reports of about an inch and a half. So flooding will be a concern as we continue through the remainder of this evening. So we do have a flood watch for the counties here that are in green until tomorrow morning. So once again, a reminder, if we do have some standing water on the roads, flowing water on the roads, that you do not drive through that. Continuing through the evening, we'll see scattered storms uh, continuing through, and uh, that chance will be through the evening and into tonight before we cool off behind it. More stable weather starts to move on in. Here's the low pressure right there, driving that moisture off to the north with the heat, the energy. That's what's providing all of the development for those strong storms for this evening. So future cast will keep that in the forecast. Look at this 10 o'clock still here, expecting the heavy rain as well as some lightning before it slowly starts to dry up as we get into the overnight Sunday or Monday too. We'll just see mostly some cloud coverage here over the next few days or so. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast here. We have for our Sunday high of only 63 degrees. That rain should be out of here by the afternoon, just leaving temperatures in the 60s. Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, temperatures slowly on the warm up, but we do dry up. You become more stable. Wednesday, 80 degrees. Friday and Saturday in the mid 80s. 